Greetings everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will explore how to update SharePoint list items without creating new version. This is a common issue when using Power Automate for approval and updates of any of the Microsoft SharePoint list items, which unintentionally creates new versions of that particular list item we will find a solution to circumulate this problem to do that what we are going to do uh, to begin this i have created a sharepoint list called employee data and in this particular employee data list i have added some dummy data into that and this particular employee data list has one more column created into it exit date Okay, so let me just go and try to view the particular items version history. So I'm going into these three dots and version history. As you can see, there is only 1.0 version number available. Let me go and edit this item and instead enter Seeger as full name. Okay, and one more time I'm going to add it and in this business unit instead of manufacturing, I'm going to add it as IT and save it. So if I go and check the version history now, as you can see, there are three versions available 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0 with all the changes which I have done. OK, so what we want to do is we want to update this particular item and do not generate a new version history 3.4 or 4.0. And what we want to do is we want to update this exit date field with use of power automate. OK, and uh, let me let me do one more thing. Let me go into this uh, Power Automate flow, right? And create a new Power Automate scheduled cloud flow. There is no need to create a scheduled cloud flow. You can have an instant cloud flow or automated cloud flow as per your requirement. The logic is going to be the same for that. So before doing that, let me just go and uh, try to create a scheduled cloud flow. And I'm going to provide a name for this uh, cloud flow as um, let's say mark and exit exit for an employee. Okay, every day, yeah, mark and exit for an employee every day. And what we want to do is we want to start it from today and uh, repeat this every day. So this flow will run every day. Let me click on create. So it will take some time and now our flow is ready, which is every day running flow. So generally what we do is we use the SharePoint action item called as update an item. So this one, so SharePoint and update item is being used, but we don't want to use this update item. Instead of that, what we want to do is we want to use the HTTP SharePoint request connector. The send an HTTP request to SharePoint. We want to use this. So let me just go and click on that and add it. So the site at, for this particular SharePoint HTTP request SharePoint action, we want to load the site address. So for us, this US sales is the name of my site. So I'm going to select it. The method type instead of get, I'm going to make it post method, this one, and click on the post. And for the URI, this is the URI endpoint like REST API endpoint to be called for our application. So this is the I have already created that which is pointing to our employee data and the number of item ID which we want to update in this case that is item ID 2. So instead of item ID 1, I am going to add item ID 2. Okay, as you can see. And uh, yeah, that should be no, no, not three. It should be two item ID two. And the endpoint which we want to call is called as validate update list item. And uh, we want to pass the field name and field value. Okay. So as you can see, the field name is little bit of different what we see in the display name. So let me just go and validate that part as well. So if you go and click on this exit date and go into the list settings and click on this exit date column let me just go and do that where is it yeah exit date column 
you will see the display name is exit space date but the field name is exit underscore x 0020 underscore date so that is the name which we want to utilize in this particular json call uh, sorry that uh, rest api endpoint call so that's what i have in my notepad so field name is exit x 0020 underscore date and this is the field value which i want to add for this particular rest api endpoint so the main important thing to not generate any of the version history for this list item is using this b new document update to true passing this value as true it will make the sharepoint to not create any of the new versions of the updated list item so let me just copy this and paste it into that uri section just like this and in the body i'm going to go and copy this whole object json object from the notepad let me just copy and then um, let me paste it here as a body paste okay this is something which we want to do so our our uh, flow is ready let me save it and then what i want to do our flow is ready so now i want to test it right now i don't have any automatic process so i'm going to test it manually and click on test and then click on run flow okay so when i click on run flow it will say my flow is successfully uh, started but oh it failed so there could be some issue so oh yeah so the comma which is not valid in this case because it it makes the json ill valid because there is no any items there so what we don't want to do is what we need to do actually is to remove this comma All right i just remove it save it again and then click on the test manually test then click on this test button to run the flow so now it gives gives us a message like so flow has successfully started and now my flow has ran successfully okay so if i go and check the inputs this is the url this is the body which i have passed and this is the output of my rest api call so it says there are no exceptions and item id 2 has been updated so now if we go into the employee data list again and check this item id 2 we will see the exit date has been added as we expected it to be right here but the main thing which we want to check is it should not generate any of the version, new version number 4.0 so if we go and check it as you can see no new version has been updated or generated like 4.0 but it has that value of getting exit date added as a changed value but it doesn't have that new 4.0 version number generated so that as we want it right i hope you found this quick tip helpful if you did please hit the like button and if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section thanks for watching and see you next time goodbye